You are entering the channel of Just Judy, where the people are real, the slime is real, the vlogs are real, the mukbangs are real good. Just Judy. So I'm making tacos, Saginaw style. Um, they have this very specific bread. It's usually this Vargas um, kind or this kind. So Vargas usually has the corn tortillas. I like the flour tortillas. I always say the smooth kind. So the other one, the tortillas, you know, has the dots in there. But we have this store up here called Jack's Fruit Market. And I just got 10 flour tortillas for, it was $169. So another way that people um, in Saginaw, this is the first time I had it, make tacos, is they always use hot sauce. But I'm looking around my kitchen, I cannot find my hot sauce. So I guess I'm going to have to use taco sauce. Now, when I first came to Saginaw from Detroit I've never had fried tacos and I've never used hot sauce on my tacos I always use Doritos and I made like a nacho salad with Ortega or taco sauce so we about to get cooking so I usually use like a real onion and pepper um, and chop them up and season them but I'm being lazy so yep shoot it of these in here. I'm gonna go my meat. I feel like it's all onions in here. Dang, man. But I'm gonna let this cook up real quick and then I'm gonna so add the little veggies cooking. Now I'm gonna add my meat. Girl. So I got me a pound of turkey and then I just got the veggies mixed up in there. So I found it quite easier to just season my own meat instead of buying, you know, like the little taco seasoning packs. But the only thing I use to season my meat is the Creole season and then some cumin. Oh gosh, you gotta excuse the label. But yeah, so I'm gonna mix some of that up in there and then we'll be back. So now my meat is done cooking. Now, here comes the Saginaw part. So you take the flour tortillas and then I'm gonna dip them in a little bit of grease first, and then I'm gonna show y'all what I do after. So first, you get the the taco bread a little moist with the grease, and then secondly, you take the cooked meat and you put it inside the taco like so. Next, after you have the meat inside, you use toothpicks to secure, make a little pouch in the bread. So once you get done, you'll have a few like this. So they call them pin tacos. Make sure that the pouch is closed on the ends because after this, we're going to put them back in the grease and fry them, but you don't want the meat to come out Ooh, like this one right here. Then I mentioned this is only my second time attempting to make these, so we're going to see what they come out like. Some grease. Oh, shit. These are going too fast. I'm about to get a little bit of Mexican rice going. So I was in the store, right? And I saw Spanish rice, Mexican rice, and taco rice. Come on now, what, what's, what's the difference? Y'all trying to confuse me. But I can't do the Spanish because it got like some tomato sauce. So yeah, got the yeah, light. right? So I got the heat on low now. So I'm gonna attempt to put two more in. And I'm gonna flip these fast. Right, watch it, watch it, okay? Watch it, watch it, okay? All right. All right, just get a little brown, just a little brown. Not too much, not too much, not too much. Okay. Call me Chef Brie with it. All right, I'm gonna come back once they all finish. So here is the finished product. Some are a little bit darker than others, but you know, still gonna smash. And this is Saginaw style tacos. This is only my second attempt. So don't judge me. Have that good old Tahitian treat. In my mason jar. 